Kevin Cooper, uh, Snow Trailers, and we're at Overland Pacific Northwest. On our Alpine model, which is our Jeep truck model, came up with an open kitchen concept to where you have no obstructions from the kitchen cooking to your coffee bar, prepping, plenty of pantry space in here, plus you've got your full 75 liter uh, refrigerator freezer, dual zone in here. And of course, in the open concept, everything's covered by a nice 270 degree Ani, which it makes things just a little, little nicer. Then on top here, you've got a nice little shelf uh, with all your control panels. So everything is right here from a uh, inverter, your onboard battery system, your light switches to control your lights on and off. And of course, if you need to charge up your electronics, right there. All our drawers consist of push locks into place. So that way, when you're on the trail, nothing gets out of control and flies around. So everything has this nice little cubby hole. Everything you see here fits in a nice little spot for, for the travels. And here you'll see we have something kind of unique. That is a Fabtech suspension that is a shock tower on the outside of the box, which allows us to give a full length shock. So what that means for us is on trail, uh, the trailer's really not getting beat up. The trailer's acting very nice, uh, handles all the dips really good. And then the bonus is on the highway, when you go on the highway, the trailer just doesn't pop. So none of your internal stuff is getting beat up when you get to your destination. Everything is where it should be when you put it. Then as you come to the backside, you'll kind of see the extreme height we have here. So one of the cool things we wanted to do is give an awning that has extreme, you know, as much height as possible. So we did a very simple gas assist lift system. Um, so this allows a six foot seven gentleman to get under here and uh, clear and not have to duck, which gives you a really concept of, of really openness and, you know, kind of spacious area. Then as you come back to our stainless steel kitchen, this is one of the things that's kind of like the buzz everybody talks about is it is a 36 length full integrated stainless steel kitchen system. It has all your drawers for all your knickknacks, your any kind of pots, pans, stir sticks, cutting boards. We put in a Dometic drop-in, uh, which could be fold down and used as the prep table. We also put a nice stainless steel backer here. So if you don't use the Dometic system, if you just have your own cooktop, you put that on here and you still have a nice stainless steel back area and a wind protector. Then of course you got a Dometic drop-in sink. Everything that we see here is all designed to be pulled down and stored under the sink, including the drain hose that drains all your fluids out into a little catch basin. Above that is a fixed shelf. We did something with this loop strap pull down. So basically these drawers pull all the way out and allow you to put a very simple loop strap system in here. So you can pack as much gear up to the top as you want. So we have our Starlink in here. We usually put our solo stoves in here, our nice chairs in here. We pack this up pretty good. We can get a lot of a lot of product in here. And of course, dual locks, it's 500 pounds, so it holds a lot of weight. Locks into place again, so now by locked into place, using your loop straps, all your gear is nice and, and steady and tied down, it's not gonna move around on you. Come up to the top, and you'll see a gap here between the tent in there. These are crossbars. Uh, we basically consulted with Prince CBI, so all of their accessories clip right on here. So if you already have a Jeep or you have a Toyota that has all these accessories on there, you can simply put them on here back and forth. So now you put your roto packs on here, jacks on here, tables. Uh, we just put a simple barbecue table on ours when we go camping. Down below, you've got a recovery system in here. So this is a full um, length all the way to the tongue. So it is part of the trailer. It's actually a hitch. So you can actually put a motorcycle rack back here if you wanted and carry your vehicle around or your motorcycle. And then of course we use arc levelers to level up this system. So we use four. So we have two arcs up here. We have two jacks on the front. So it doesn't matter what terrain you're on, you can get yourself nice and level. It makes it a lot more comfortable when you're sleeping. As we go to the top up here, you'll see we put OVS's Nomadic 4, which is their biggest tent. And we kind of wanted to showcase that, that this rack is so modular that you can put any tent will go on top of this rack system. So it doesn't matter what you guys own. As we come back around here, you're going to see a nice little trash can sitting right here. So we did this for the cook to have a spot to put his you know, trash in. And of course, we have a nice steel uh, gate, spare tire gate. Has rotopacks on the inside because that's kind of like dead space. So we give one water, one fuel. You'll see a full size spare tire, and you're going to see method rims on here. So one of the things that we believe in, in the trailer world is give you off-road tires and give you some nice off-road rims. So that one, you pick up a trailer from us, you're literally putting your goodies on it and you're heading out on the trail and you're having a lot of fun. Uh, and of course, we had some fun with you know some of our uh, vendors OVS. This is a nice little garment rack that flips on this side of the tire. So that way you have your living quarters. That side is the entertainment side. This side is the living quarter side. We gave you another full size box that you can actually put bags into here. So everybody has their own garment bag. So you pack it up. You got little clear deals in here. You put your name in here so that everybody knows what their bags are. 
We have another control panel over here. So we use Switch Pros for our lighting. So I have a, a Switch Pro control here, and I also have one on that side, or you can use your app if you're inside your tent. So very easy to get to your, your electronics now. Even the refrigerators and electronics are all on your app. So you literally, if it's an early morning and you just don't want to get out of bed, you can just stay in your tent and control everything. And this is kind of like a little health and beauty area. So you can do shaving, comb your hair, got a hot water heater for your shower. Uh, if you zip in an annex, it has the door. Now you've got a door to your shower, so you've got some privacy um, when you're out camping. So if you're uh, one of those early risers and you just want to take a shower, you, we make it very convenient for you guys to do that. Then as we come around the front, you'll see we use a max coupler. We use a full steel chassis that has a proprietary anti-rust on it and powder coated. We give you a full box system with electronics. So. Renogy is one of the customers we uh, companies we use. We use a 30 amp uh, solar controller. Uh, as you saw earlier, we had a solar panel up there running our whole system. So we're just we have a 100 amp AGM in here that runs the whole box. And as you come in through and see electronics, you'll see some polycarbonate protectors here. So that way it allows the guy to throw his gear in here, not worry about damaging any electronics. So if there's on the trail and they need to get the recovery stuff, it's very easy. We also put a nice 3M protective guard on all our forward facing products. So all the forward facing edges of the trailer all have a 30 mil 30, uh, 3M protective on there. Just gives the trailer that look and you know, very easy to clean the mud off. When the mud gets on there, you just hose it off, it wipes right off. But it also gave us a nice platform to protect all of our input. So we have shore power input, we have solar input, and then we also have power out. So now everything's all nice and clean when you get your destination, you're not trying to knock mud off. Uh, so it's nice and easy to use. You'll notice two pretty fairly good sized propane bottles back there. Those are 11 pounders. So now you're taking 22 pounds of propane on the trail with you. So not, you know, it's, you know, five pounds are good, 10 pounds are good, but if you can have 22 pounds, that just takes it to a whole nother level. Now you can pop out your, uh, your fire pit and burn it every night and have to worry about um, losing your propane. You'll notice the, the molly panels up here. So every door that we have has a molly panel standard and it allows you to put cool things like this. So this is our first aid kit that we just popped on the front here. So we have extra clips, we have extra batteries for locking up if we ever leave. And of course, I've got a nice first aid kit, very easy to get to. And that's you know made possible because these molly panels allow us to clip in things very simple, keep them out of the way and keep everything or organized. Even their Yeti pouches, our hatchets, any of the stuff you need to get to very easy. And that is our Alpine model. And this is our flagship model today. Uh, we do have a lot of exciting stuff coming up behind me right here, that white one. Uh, we actually originally built that for Yamaha to be a side-by-side -side trailer. But our latest adventure that we've been doing has been with Subaru. So we got a Subaru Outback and we towed that all around and uh, it was quite ex exciting. The Subaru didn't even know the trailer was back there. It tracks with inside the, the wheel track. So when you're uh, going around navigating the city or the dirt roads, you don't have to do anything special. Wherever the car turns, the, the trailer follows perfect. And it's basically a mini version of the Alpine. So it's just a lot less weight. Dry weight on this trailer is 1600 pounds. Dry weight on that trailer is 700 pounds. So with all the gear in here, the way it sits, you're at 2,000 and all the gear with that one, you're at 1,025. So very light trailer, very easy to use. And of course, the kicker, the really good thing is both these trailers fit inside your single car garage. So you don't have to pay for storage. All right, so Kevin Cooper, Snow Trailers, www.snotrailers, that's snotrailers.com.